Hey guys, I'm uh, just shooting this little video here. <coughs> uh, just a little update. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's a little after two in the morning. Uh, Sunday night, Monday morning, uh, March 27th. Today is Monday, so I didn't work really hard today, but I did get some stuff done. Um, I put in 12 hours the last couple days. I got quite a bit done, so I got, as you can see, I got mostly all the slides in for the racks, but I got everything in on this side, okay? I got everything in on this side, uh, but I only got three in on this side because I ran out, so I got to go and get three more tomorrow and then put those three in, and I'll have the slides in for the racks. Um, and I think I'm going to do some barbecue racks, some rib racks. So I'm going to make my regular rack. All my regular racks, all six racks, regular racks. But then I'm going to take probably two of those racks and do rib racks. Uh, and then these are all, just in case anybody want to know, it's like 35, 36 inches. So I just took, uh, drew some lines, as you can see, and I chose every other line. And they're five inches apart. So uh, allowed me 30, a little over 30 inches, 30, I don't know, 34. 35 inches something like that 33 whatever it is allowed me to get six six racks in here if I went six inches I could have got uh, five in but I decided to go five so um, that's about normal what I do I go five inches um, because then if you go five inches then it's really not a problem when you build one uh, just so you guys know if you go five inches between your racks just standard five inches between all your racks no matter what you can slide one rack out, or if you sell it, somebody can slide one rack out and get a turkey in. They don't have to slide two racks in, out. But if you go like three, four inches, they may have to slide two racks out in order to get a turkey or a large chicken to come in. So uh, just something to be aware of, guys. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just doing this one a little different, like I said. This is my third one. I uh, sold the second one. Uh, second one left here about three weeks ago or so. So after I sold that one and I started this one, when this one's done, I'm going to start another one. Uh, I'm going to start another one uh, basically like that firebox for this one, but a little taller. Um, the firebox won't be as big. It'll be probably half the size of this. Uh, and then the rest will be a water pan and, and then uh, be one big frame just like that in two by two. Um, but I did that frame for that firebox in two by two because I was going to do something different. And then I ended up doing this here because I wanted it a little distance, a little width, not as much depth, but a little width and a little height. Then um, I did this one, uh, one and a half by one and a half, eighth wall, square tubing. So um, I just got done uh, framing up the door frame. So I'll let that set until tomorrow when I come out and work on it tomorrow night. Um, Lord willing, I come out and work on it tomorrow night, then I'll take it out, flip it over and weld the other sides. And then we should be good to go. Uh, and then that'll be done. I got to get my hinges, uh, and we should we should be we should be pretty much in there. Then um, I'm just going to get some three sixteenths inch plate, uh, probably inch inch and a half, and I'll put it along here. I'll put it right along here, all the way around, all the way around, three sixty, all the way around uh, to seal it. And then I'll put the gasket on the inside of that part of the door. Uh, and then I'll do the same to this one right here, guys. Uh, it's getting late, and I'm going in. I'm a little tired, so uh, I don't want this video to be long, and it's a little over four minutes. So uh, I'm out, guys. God bless you guys. Hey, guys, get out there and do something. Whatever it is that you like to do, do something. All right.